a man who was imprisoned, who was tortured, who washed dishes making 50 cents an hour, who has lived the American dream, and a man who is today a pastor traveling the country preaching the gospel. And Dad, you have been my hero my whole life. I love you, Dad. That has got to be such a heartwarming feeling for both father and son. And joining us now is Rafael Cruz, father of Ted Cruz, pastor and author of a great new book, A Time for Action, Empowering the Faithful to Reclaim America. Uh, pastor, welcome, sir. Great to have you. Steve, it's great to be with you. Well, I appreciate that. At that moment, I'm a father. I have a 16-year-old. I could imagine, I mean, what, tell me what was going through your mind, in your heart, as your son thanked you right after winning the Iowa caucus. Well, you know, uh, Steve, when I think about my coming to America 58 years ago with nothing, couldn't even speak the language, when I saw my son... Uh, being sworn in as U.S. Senate, uh, as U.S. Senator, and now potentially being the next president of the United States of America, it is hard to contain the tears from my eyes. And all that comes to my mind is only in America. Yeah. Only in America. This is the greatest country on the face of the earth. I am so proud to be an American. Well, I, we're, we're proud to have you as an American, certainly. Let me, let me ask you about some of the, and, and, and the book, by the way, we're going to get to in just a second. But Donald Trump said something last night about uh, your son. I want you to hear, and I, I hope you can respond. Let's listen to that. Then he said, Ben Carson has quit the race the day of the election. Ben Carson, during the caucus, Ben Carson has quit the race. And... Ben didn't quit the race. In other words, Ben Carson quit and let me have your votes. What kind of crap is this? You know why? Because he was born in Canada. Was. Happens to be a problem, folks. That happens to me. You watch. The Democrats, they've already said they're going to sue him. He gets the nomination. They're going to sue his ass off. All right. When you hear that, and if you want to specifically respond to what he said, uh, what's your reaction? Well, you know, when when someone is making an impact like my son Ted is making, of course there are going to be attacks, uh, but you know, that comes with the territory. So we just keep moving forward and with our, you know, Ted's uh, commitment is to serve with the people. He's truly a servant of with the people and, and you know, uh, those that want to continue business as usual are going to come against you. So that goes with the territory. All right, but, but, but you know, Donald Trump has said some, some things that are really above and beyond what usual politicians say about other politicians, especially of the same party. Um, that does, I mean, again, as a dad, we talked about as a dad how proud you were. I mean, does it, do you boil inside? Do you wish he would shut up? I mean, what goes through your mind? As a matter of fact, the opposite is true. We are energized, both Ted and I, when we see the attacks coming. Number one, my son Ted will not attack the character of any of the candidates. He has made a commitment to do so, and he has been faithful to that, that commitment. And secondly, we realize that the attacks only come because he's threatening them. He's making a difference. If he was not making a difference, nobody would be attacking him. So actually, we are energized by the attacks. And it just gives us more impetus to move forward because we know what the task is at hand. And my son is doing this to serve we the people, to serve every American, and to realize that unless we have a turn to a constitutional conservative, a turn to someone who is has a vision for America, has the leadership skills, and has the record to do what needs to be done to restore America to that shining city on a hill. That's what drives Ted, to be a servant to all Americans, to make sure that every American can achieve the American dream. And that only can happen when you have someone at the helm that is not worried about growing government. Government is not the solution like Ronald Reagan said. Government is the problem, so what we need to do and what Ted intends to do is to cut down the size, power, and scope of the federal government and restore that power back to the states 
and moreover, to we the people. Your, your book, A Time for Action, uh, addresses so many important part, uh, points. I, I want to ask you this. Uh, today, Rick Santorum has dropped out. The other day, Mike Huckabee suspended his campaign. Those are two men who, when it comes to social issues, are more or less in line with, uh, with your son. Um, it, it, are you sorry to see them go, or uh, do you think this benefits your son? Because those uh, who might share your son's values and might like Huckabee, might like Santorum, will now gather around and, and coalesce around your son. Well, you know, it is good that we have had such a wonderful array of strong candidates, great men, and 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 even a woman in the in the race that have been great for for this campaign for everyone look at the other side i mean the other side it's pitiful so it is great that we have had a very deep bench of many principal conservatives and it is absolutely speaks of that uh, we are seeing a rise of conservatism in america i am very encouraged for the future of america all right let me let me ask you this before we get uh, to uh, new hampshire and south carolina and and uh, the role that uh, christians uh, will play in in the election and uh, as you pointed out in your book so many millions sat home and did not vote uh, last time around uh, but we, we have a, a newsmax contributor rick unger who was on with me yesterday he's also a host of a serious xm radio show writes for forbes.com and he said of your son and marco rubio quote their people hate them i said they're two hispanics he said yeah but their people hate them your response well, I, I don't know what you mean by your people. Uh, my son Ted is serving all Americans. But I'll tell you what, yes, people in Washington are against my son. Those that are part of what my son calls the Washington cartel, corrupt career politicians in both parties who want to continue the gravy train, want to continue business as usual. They don't want anything to change. And that's why they despise Ted, because Ted wants to return America to the principles that have made America that, that uncompromising country, a country, only a country around the world where your dreams can become a reality with hard work and perseverance. Pa we need to restore our foundation. Pastor, what about, what about Marco Rubio and, and what about South Carolina, what about New Hampshire? Uh, I know you're headed to South Carolina soon. Um, does your son, do you believe your son has any chance of winning uh, New Hampshire? And, and what about Marco Rubio? Uh, what, what's, your, what's your take on him? Well, uh, Marco is a good man like the rest of the people in the field. Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, an incredible team in, in New Hampshire, an incredible team in South Carolina and in Nevada, and even on all the, the states that are going to be playing on Super Tuesday. And uh, of course, my son Ted is playing to win in every state. Uh, we are encouraged because conservatives, Tea parties, libertarians, Reagan Democrats, they are coalescing around my son Ted Cruz. So yes, he will be competitive in New Hampshire. He will be competitive in, in South Carolina and Nevada and beyond. All right, uh, let me ask you, uh, sir, about uh, what you think is gonna be different this time around. Why did so many Christians and conservatives stay home last time? And what's the difference as you address in your book, A Time for Action? Well, as I mentioned in, in, in my book, you know, for too many years, evangelicals uh, have stayed home. And that's primarily been because the pastors have, hit, have been hiding, many pastors, hiding behind the pulpit. You know, many Christians have been saying, politics is a dirty business. I don't want any part of it. But, you know, if people of principle are not running for office, are not even voting, then we're going to get what we deserve. And I think as our religious liberties have been more and more under attack, we have seen that the sleeping giant is waking up. As a matter of fact, I have one chap chapter in my book entitled precisely that, the sleeping giant is waking up. We have seen millions of people of faith that all of a sudden saying, we can't take it anymore. We must have our voices heard. Right. Mr. Cruz, it has been such an honor and a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much, and good luck with the book, A Time for Action, Empowering the Faithful to Reclaim America. Thank you, Pastor. Steve, it's great being with you. I just uh, speak blessings over you, and I bless each and every one of your listeners. God bless you, and God bless this great United States of America. Thank you, sir.